A quarry, by definition, is an environment in permanent change. Thousands of cubic meters of rock are moved around to form new, untouched landscapes every day. Extractive activity also generates the release of an element essential to all life on Earth, fresh water. In quarries, the presence of often exceptionally pure water, together with regular excavation of rock, is the source of the appearance of exceptional habitats. Pioneer ponds. These habitats can appear in many areas of the quarry. The edges of the tracks, in the drainage ditches, or at the bottom of pits. Dans lesquels il n'y a encore pas de végétation ou très peu de végétation. De par ce, ce côté pionnier, c'est très intéressant. Il y a plein de plantes rares, plein d'animaux rares qu'on trouve que dans les carrières ou presque. The Natajak toad is primarily a land animal, but its survival depends on this aquatic environment for reproduction. The temporal character of these shallow ponds prevents the appearance of predators which would feed on the amphibians' spawn and tadpoles. Common midwife toads protect their eggs by carrying them on the male's back. At the end of the gestation period, he will set them down in a pioneer pond so they hatch sheltered from predators. Dragonflies and damselflies, such as the scarce blue-tailed damselfly, as well as some typical algae, also enjoy the pioneer and temporal conditions of ponds. The aim is to create new ponds, which mutually co-evolve with extractive activities. The main action for the creation of a pond is the digging of small holes in a variety of shapes and sizes in runoff zones or areas where water accumulates. The ponds must be shallow with gentle slopes which allow the water to heat up, which in turn encourages the development of tadpoles. Dès qu'on a une machine qui est libre, un homme qui est un petit peu plus disponible, on met la machine pour créer une petite mare, pour créer une dépression, pour augmenter notre surface de biodiversité. Rather than large ponds, we will recommend a complex of multiple small ponds to diversify the available habitat. Ces mares-ci, elles vont se remplir en eau de pluie. L'idéal, c'est de faire les aménagements pendant l'hiver pour bien remplir les mares avant les ponts des crapauds au printemps. In the quarry, rain is not the only source of water supply for the ponds. Extractive activities can release water infiltrations, creating a constant flow, an ideal location to dig pioneer ponds. At the bottom of the pit, the emergence of groundwater offers development options which can be adapted on a case-by-case -case basis. Ce qui est aussi positif, c'est la présence de cailloux plus grossiers sur le bord. Ça sert d'abri aux amphibiens pour pouvoir se cacher en dessous. The concept of dynamic management allows a permanent availability of this habitat in parallel to the extractive activities. During spring and summer, a defence line will be built to protect the refuge zones from the machines. After one or two years, when the extraction is progressing, new ponds will be dug in temporarily abandoned areas. We'll take advantage of the winter period and the absence of amphibians and dragonflies to move existing ponds. Faced with the fact of a regional decline in amphibian populations, active quarries constitute an exceptional opportunity to maintain and develop core population of amphibians. Thanks to the Life in Quarries project, more than 120 dynamically managed ponds will be created within Walloon quarries. 
with the contribution of the LIFE programme of the European Union.